I want to ask you. Did I borrow money from you to marry her? Why can't you let her be? You have asked me a dozen questions at once. And I wonder how you want me to answer all. What I want you to understand is those that are unwilling to move should clear the room for those that are willing. Movement is not my fault. What does that supposed to mean? Your name is Chinua Lemoogo, or what we've come to call Chinua. My name, I must admit. But seriously, I don't want you to always wait for Rachi to wage wars for you. Bah. Eh? The awards who've already been empowered to wage as men. Hello, With all due respect, I can say you're not making any sense. I have to leave you now. Yeah. Can I unlock an eye? Uh, 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 Listen, it is going to be a sacrilege for a good looking man like you to return back to his to Lisa without a child. Hello. Childlessness is that war, and I want you to stand up as a man and solve it. Stay where you are. Don't move an inch. What are you up to? Tell me, what are you up to? If a seer will tell me that the problem is with your wife, I will look into that seer's face and tell him that he's an idiot, a blind goat. The problem is not with your wife, but with you. I want you to back off and allow someone like me to plant the seed of progress. <laughs> This is rather getting funny. As a lab, are you telling me to my face that you want to sleep with my wife? No, 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 no. Don't see it as a sacrilege, for it is not. It is only a way of ensuring the continued existence of the lineage of your fathers. Yes! Listen, I am not going to touch you anything. Get her to open, and I will step in with twins. I know you are planning to use your charms to sleep with my wife, but that will not work. That will not happen. Stay clear, stay away from my family before you see the other side of me. Exactly what other people have been begging me to do for them, and I refused. It's what I'm pleading with this idiot, and he's walking away from me, walking out of me. You just see. Ha! <laughs> Are you not the one that they call in two weeks? Where have you been? Have you been looking for me? Does it mean you will never change? Why are you looking at me like that? Too many things have been happening in this kingdom. And I did not know. Why? Who are these invaders that have been invading in Kiruka? That have made her this big within six months? Kedundi Niti Kiriba. my mother to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. Did you just call me mother? I am not your mother. Reproduce like every other normal woman and give my son a child. Then you can open that your cursed mouth and call me mother and I will answer. Why are you doing this to me? 
Chuko Lisa. Chuko Abiyama. The all-knowing God that lives beyond the earth. He's the only one that makes every woman to reproduce. And I know, I know that one day he will look upon me with mercy. And what makes you think I will wait hopelessly for the emergence of that your one day? I am an action woman, known all over this land. I need action. I know. I know you need action. It will come. It will come when it pleases the all-knowing God. Only give me some time. Please bear with me. Now you listen to me. You expired man parading himself as a woman. Go and tell whoever that sent you that Chinua came from the ties of an action woman that you just realized you cannot destroy him. I need a woman, not a man. <laughs> You may always forget all things, but do not ever forget the family you came from. This is a family of warriors, and warriors are known for one thing. They calculate very well before they act, no matter the provocation. Do not ever go to war without proper calculation. That is when warriors fail, and when it happens, they regret all their lives. Mother, your point is very clear, but sincerely, I am lost as to the reason behind it. I am not a warrior, and I'm never ever planning to be at war with anybody. By the act of Chuku Okike, Chuku Abiyama, all descendants of warriors are warriors. They may be seeing themselves as not being warriors, just as you're doing now. But when you push them to the war, the spirit of war in them will rise. <sighs> My daughter, what I'm telling you today is, do not ever allow anyone to push you to the war. Even as I still cannot make out anything from this advice of yours, mother, I will still say thank you for your advice. It is not just an advice, a very important one. Listen, people around you can just suddenly rise up and start talking to you in a way that will make you lose control and misbehave. Do not ever allow that to happen. If you can hold yourself, the same people that plan to pin you down will be the ones that will labor to see you rise. Or worry about Kuyale. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a child. Give me a child I can call my own. They refer to me as a man. I am not a man. I am not a man. Give me my own child. I want to feel like a woman. Give me the joy of motherhood. <laughs> You have been crying. I have been crying before to call this up. Give me the one I can call my own. <laughs> Don't 
Don't worry, my husband. I will get your food. No. If a seer will tell me that the problem is with your wife, I will look into that seer's face and tell him that he's an idiot. A blind goat. The problem is not with your wife, but with you. I want you to back off and allow someone like me to plant the seed of hope. Why are you looking at me like this? You're giving me reasons to worry. Some men are beginning to look into our marriage. I want you to stand by me. There is nothing Hawks can do to us if we are together. Sheran Banugu, we are glad that finally you are showing concern as a mother. Barrenness does not run in our family. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And we need no seers to give us any confirmation. For us to know that his wife has been the one who is unable to conceive. That is why I've been making an arrangement to bring in a new wife for him. I've even concluded talks with um, Ide Jimba of whom may be the kingdom, to release his daughter to us. And that is where I would want both of you to come in as his uncles. Well, you don't have to beg us to do what we must do. Chinua in question is our son. And we cannot allow him to continue this way. First and foremost, let us see the woman you are arranging for from whom we be there. Then we will come in and use our positions and powers mm -hmm. as uncles. Good to accord. Mm -hmm. She was with my father yesterday uh -huh. and was complaining bitterly. I am not sure if she means it, but I'm certain she's planning to get a new wife for Chino. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. I don't know what they are thinking. Mm -hmm. Moshe Ram Banigo, the self-acclaimed action woman of Omoa Kingdom. A woman who has become so popular that she's known by almost everyone, is planning to get a new wife for her son. And she comes to talk to your father. Tell me the truth, one Neka, who is the new wife? Nkiruka, mm -hmm. what kind of man being are you? Does it mean one cannot tell you anything as a friend without getting a confusing interpretation from you? Uh, 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 our meeting to that time is not anywhere. So I have come to us to conclude what you have said. Uh, uh, mm. Omega, if you don't mind, please excuse us. You already excused. Hey, please, Omega, wait. I want to trash this development here immediately before you go out there and form a useless opinion. You said I held a meeting with you. Where, please? Hey, what do you mean, where? And Kiruga, listen to me. There is an urgent need for us to conclude what we've started. We have to conclude this discussion. Go ahead. Say whatever you want to say before my friend. Banu, no! How can you say a thing like that? Eh? What I am planning to say is for you and you alone. Not Excuse us, please. You're not serious. Eh? Let's get out of here. Geruga! What I wanted to beg her is for her to come to my place later in the evening and collect the meat I roasted for her. Why would she live like that? Can you swear on your life that the meat is the only reason why you are luring her into your house? You idiot! 
dog that are you idiot? Echi di me. Do you want me to kill you in this town? Eh? Who gave the right to interrupt my meeting with those maidens? When did you start monitoring my activities in this land? Three questions. Three questions in one, and you expect me to answer you, right? <laughs> well, you see, I don't really have your time. But let me tell you, be very careful with those maidens. They can kill. Ta! Ta! You idiot! How can that be possible? Eh? They can kill. They can kill you! I, I, I don't know if I'm idiot! Those maidens cannot kill me! Do they even know me? It's a lab of Umoma Kingdom. The only young man that dies with others. Idiot! It is you that in those minutes we kill. I don't know if you're going to wait to eat it. You idiot! You idiot! Let's eat it, man! Oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll bring out time for you. Do you know if you're going to wait to eat it? It is you that we kill. I don't know if you're going to wait to eat it. I am talking to you. Why are you not listening to what I am saying? And that is because you're not making any sense to me. You want me to stand there and listen to what Ezelabo was saying. Why must I do that? Because you never can tell what he wanted to say. Nkiru, you may continue to pretend about it. But I know you have been praying for a sister to come your way. And what does that have to do with the issue under discussion? Is there any maiden in our Obioma age grade who has not been praying for a sitter? Why make reference to mine? I made reference to yours because obviously you've lost it. Does it not occur to you that Ezelabo, whom you just dismissed as a fool, could be the answer to that prayer? Oh, mm. Waneka. I wish you the same. Is this your dream for me? To end up with Ezelabo as a husband? Hey. Um, what is wrong with Ezelabo, if I may ask? In fact, Ezelabo is excellent. He's the best man in our land. But you know what? I'm not interested in that best man. If you like him that much, you can throw yourself at him. I am certain that you don't need any complicated technique to say this that one. Do it and thank me later. What insult? What does she think? That she has better class than me. One neck. The only daughter of Ichi Obuefi, Ife de Ma. In her years, but Yes, 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 yes. Who is she? Who is she? The seven Kiru cannot you know. Eh? Why are you asking useless questions as if you never knew who I was talking about? Oh, Nkiruka. Uh. <laughs> she asked you to wait for her here. So yeah. sit down and wait for her. Are you serious? Yes. She asked me to wait for her. Yes, I, 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 please stay here and I'll feed it to the instruction. I'll wait. I'll wait. Hmm. Where will be the best position? She asked me to stand with her. Hey. Hey. Wait, let me stay here. Hey. I am sure she has gone to prepare herself well. I have for me. And I am going to hit her heart. She will be enjoying it with tears. <laughs> My daughter. Bye -bye. We share a common boundary with the people of Umoma Kingdom. But we are not the same with them. Women are almost nothing here in Umwibide Kingdom. It's not the same with Umoma Kingdom. In Umoma, Women are given great respect. Now that you are finally getting married to a man from Umuangwa Kingdom, I would like you to drop that inferiority complex and then brace up for the challenges ahead. People fail only when they choose to fail. Till date, mortals have never celebrated a permanent failure of a man who decides to succeed. Bear that in mind. Thank you, Father. 
even as I am still surprised with this pattern of marriage and the urgency with which you have gone about it. I will say that I still trust you. Appreciate your trust, my daughter. You will see the gains in the long run. Now, brother, look, your mother in law is waiting. My husband, don't you think we should sell out the fish pond? Why? Why? Is it because of what happened last year? No, that will not repeat this year. I have this belief that we will have more fishes in that pond. Hmm? I'm sorry, my dear, but it happened last year. It happened two years ago, even. When we finally opened the pond to harvest fishes, we found more frogs instead. So I am suggesting that we sell it out to other people. Good luck to them if they find fishes in the pond. But if they don't, and they find frogs as we are used to, we have nothing to lose. Yes. Um, uh, uh -huh. Mother, no. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Mother, uh -huh. welcome. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come, come. What my son needs, I am not wrong with this. He needs a child. And that is why I have arrived from Umuibide with the very fertile daughter of Idejimba of Umuibide kingdom. She is going to take the place of this man you smuggled in here as a woman. What is the meaning of this man? You mean he traveled way to Umuibide to bring this girl for me? Did I tell you I need a wife? You didn't need to tell me. Because I know. Listen, barrenness does not run in my family. Neither does it run in your own family. So we cannot continue to dwell in barrenness just because you made a mistake and ended up with this man. Ne? Mom, go and keep your things inside, oh, and feel at home. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Nanya, Nanya, where do you think you're going? Take your basket of clothes, go back to your land. I don't need a wife. You're a liar. We, who are you even calling wife, this man? Eh? She has come to stay, she's not going anywhere. If there's anyone that should leave, it is this man. Because two men cannot live together. Nebo by any Nanya, Nanya. Don't ask Please. If the gods do not approve of what your mother is doing, it will clash. Let them be. Man! 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 See, I live in this compound, but I am not always at home. My son is your husband. You must stand up for your right. You must fight for your right. Mama, you didn't tell me your son already has a wife. I mean, she's already angry with me and I don't know how I am going to handle that. You will have to handle it as a true daughter of whom will be the kingdom. Let me tell you something. The rats eat everything, but not the fish of a man who is not asleep. You have to make up your mind for this fight. You must win it. You appear to be very angry and I'm telling you, you have no reason to be. 
Uncle, I don't understand you. I don't understand you. My mother wants to whom will be the kingdom without my consent or knowledge. And imported a girl as my wife. I want you to caution her as the head of this family. You are talking like a child. And that is because you are indeed a child. Your mother does not need your consent at all to present you with a wife that is going to reproduce. But I have a wife. Which wife? I have a wife I married with my money that you and everybody in this village is aware of it. But I've never told anyone on you that I'm sick and tired of that woman. Why must she impose another woman on me? Listen, Shino Alamogu, I think the time is right for me to explain this to you. A woman who has lived with a man for four years without a child or even miscarriage can be invited to men's meeting. Magami. Because she's did a man. And your wife, the one you are calling your wife is in this that's that's a category. You should be thanking your mother for the step she has taken. Listen to me. You have to go back to your place and marry the woman your mother has presented. Needless to tell you that it is a taboo in this kingdom for any man to reject any woman married for him by the mother. The consequences might be very devastating. And I am so certain you don't want that to befall you. His mother has decided to solve the problem once and for all, and he's not happy about that. But tell me, what can he do? You mean she has finally married a new wife for him? Definitely. That was so fast. Who is the maiden that agreed to be married with such level of urgency? That is where I have a problem. That is where my problem is. But the choice is hers, and there is nothing anybody could do about it. What are you talking about, Father? Is there an issue with the maiden? Hmm. Oshi Oramba Anugo traveled all the way to him, Umuibide to go and marry a maiden for Shino Alamog, her son. That simply means that Oshi Oramba never believed in any of the maidens of our Umuamwa kingdom. <laughs> I have a problem with that, my child. And I feel very disturbed. As you said earlier, the choice is hers, and there is nothing we could do about it. So why are you bothered? I am bothered because had it been she married from amongst us, a maiden of this land, I mean she married amongst the maidens of this land, maybe Shinwalamogu will not be feeling the way he is feeling about his wife now. That you love me so much is not in doubt. I know, and I can vouch for you. I know how you feel about the girl presented to you by your mother. But I am begging you, please, do not ignite the wrath of the gods because you love me. What are you talking about? I did not tell anybody that I needed a wife. I know, and that is why I said I can vouch for you. However, what I gathered is that it is a taboo here in Umuawa Kingdom for a man to reject a wife married for him by his mother, mainly when she has paid the bride price of the woman. A man can reject a woman married for him by his father, but nobody must reject the woman married for him by his mother. Please, I am begging you, accept her. Just so we can avoid the anger of the gods. Biko. I don't love that woman from the bush tribe of Umubi the kingdom. She is not my wife. You are the one that I love so much. And my heart yearns for you. Oh, 
Adi Mama. I know all this. Sincerely, I do. But I don't want you to disobey your mother. I know why she brought that girl to you. I know. <sighs> she now sees me as a man. I am not a man. Listen. If it pleases Olisa to bless us through her, then so be it. You mean what you just said? I mean every word I say to you. Hmm. As you will always say, Lisa knows the best. I want you to understand that I love you so much. You mean the whole world to me. Where they now see her as a man. For indeed she is a man. Why then is she still holding on to the marriage? Idejimba, why are you looking at me as if you don't know me? It is me, Okudri, your in-law. I am sure that you have not come to provoke me. If that is why you are here, I will advise you to leave time before I break your bones. And who are you to refer to yourself as my in-law? Ah, Idejimba, am I not supposed to marry your daughter? We have already fixed a date. And unfortunately, that date will no longer hold, for my daughter Masinachi is already married. How is that possible? Married to who? She's married to who she's married to. Now, take a look at yourself, Okutini. Do you think you are worthy of being my daughter's husband? Idejimba, you are getting me confused more. We have been going on well. Okudina, I am done with you. The maiden you came to marry is already married. Go and look for another. Where are you going without your keg of power? Take it. Oh, good, Elip. We all are surprised as we are. Look up one morning and discover that Ibe Jimba has married his daughter to Umawa. Hmm? Yes. Just like that. Who are the people that took part in the marriage? The marriage is still a mystery to us. Will you call that marriage? There was no celebration. Hmm? Ide Jimba single-handedly married his daughter to Umawa Kingdom. Hi, Chi. See, I blame myself in all this thing. Why didn't I pay her bride price all this while? I would have married her out and all this thing wouldn't have happened. You wouldn't have even married her. Because Ide Jimba refused to collect the bride price. I believe he has been planning this all this while. So it's not your fault. Hi, Chi. Hi, Chi. Come, see, please. Do you know the, the, the family that she's married to in Moa Kingdom? And what will you be doing with such information? If you are planning on going for research for her, you better don't go there because it will backfire. Huh? Yes. Dili, why are you doing this? My father told you that I am married. And you came all the way to trace me to Umwa, my husband's place. I mean, who does that? You are not married. I've gone, I've asked all the elders in your Okadiki family. And they said you're not married. Are you serious? And you came here because you believe that I am not married. Oko, did you let me end this here? I am married to a man of Umwa named Chinwalumogo. There was no celebration. There was no general prayers offered to the gods. The maidens of Umibi they did not get to bid you farewell. Well, those things are not relevant to my father. The Dejimba of Imibide has settled everything that needs to be settled. Okudili, please, do not come back here to look for me again. Leave this land and follow me back home. And I will give you the best marriage ever. Okudili, listen to me. Go back to our land. 
you will find a maiden who will be willing to take you. I mean, ready to take you as her husband. I am taking. This is not ordinary. What has the Dejimba done to this maiden that made her change her mind this way? I have something to discuss with you. I'm here. Are you not going to sit? I am seated now. Can I hear? Um, we all know that what a man takes in has a lot to do with what he brings out. I'm very certain you understand what I mean by that. No, I don't understand what you mean by that. Okay, I'll explain. I've been here for two months and nothing has happened. And I'm very certain it has to do with the rubbish you have been feeding my husband. I called you to ask you for a favor. So please stop cooking for my husband. Let me feed him. Mas <laughs> Nachi, hmm? you called me out yes. to tell me that what I cook for your husband is poison. Simple. And that I should stop feeding him. Very simple. Well, that suggestion seems useless. To me. Oh, my dear, it is not useless. It's not. It's just something simple you have to do for the family. My dear, you have been confirmed to be a man without a womb. And I am the one that will give this family a child. So please, just allow me to feed my husband. Oh, though, I finished. Excuse me. I am pleading with you. To offer me this explanation as a good man of this land that you are i am certain it will not cost you anything we are not talking about the cost implication of your request no we are talking of the need could this be the reason you are not married yet oh could this possibly be why you renamed yourself as because you are possibly believing you are important. Uh, 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 why are you doing this? Yeah? Why are you making this about me? Because I don't understand. No, no, no. It, is, it has nothing to do with me. I am asking questions as a young man of this land that needs to be guided. Needs to be guided on how to know who an important man is? Uh, of what relevance is that information? It is relevant because when you teach me, I will know. How do we know a man who is important? Well, the answer is very simple. Okay. An important man is that man who is living with a woman. And that woman is not denying him anything. As in, he has unhindered access into all the departments of that woman. And they still that woman is not pregnant that man is an important man ah! <laughs> that is it <laughs> i 
I think I like this. Hey, this is what I have already concluded. Mm. I just needed the confirmation from you. <laughs> Thank you very much, EJ. Mm. <laughs> there is another side to the explanation that you equally need to know. And uh, I equally need to give you that other side. So you don't leave this place and go somewhere and make some far-reaching conclusions. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I need that other side. Okay. Tell me everything. We can have a potent man who is living with an impotent woman. That potent man will be doing his level best with the impotent woman and the impotent woman will not become pregnant because she is impotent. It will be very unfair for any man to refer to that man as an impotent man because he is not important. Here in Umuwa Kingdom, what we are going to advise such a man to do is to try another woman. In fact, let him try some women. Hmm? It is only when a man has lived with many women and those women did not conceive. And then those women will start living with other men and they start conceiving. That is when you will know that that original man is indeed important. Ha! Oh, oh it, 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 you have just scattered my head with this explanation. Mm -hmm. I did not scatter your head. Aye. It is something that you needed to know so you don't make mistakes. Aye. Okay, now that you have understood all the departments to the topic under discussion, can you now tell me why you brought this inquiry in the first place? Hi. Oh, it's here. It's here. It... I am not saying that I am better than Isela. But I just feel insulted that you are thinking we are friends. I mean, how can I be friends with a character such as Isela? Echidime, I don't think I am ready to go into all that. Why did you send for me? A group of maidens from Akama came that they want our maidens to teach them our revered Nkwamuagbao. And I told them that I would discuss with their leader, which is you. Uh, that is why I called you. <laughs> why am I finding it very difficult to believe you? As in, I, I don't get. Wait, you think I am actually lying about this? <laughs> Chidimi, wait. Because I want to understand something here. Maidens of Akama want us to teach them our dance. And they approached you. As what? Not as anything. Probably as the only person they saw. The name of their leader is Okukwe. And if you think I'm lying, I can bring her to your house. Better. If sincerely there is a group of people who wants to learn our dance, bring them to me and I shall know how to handle them. Excuse me. I not just tell her the truth and save myself all this. Tell me the reason you called me back. I was getting ready to solve the problem permanently before you acted like a woman. Eh? Women are always in a hurry to make mistakes. Come on. Did you call me back to insult me? Never! I called you back to let you know that what you imported from Umebede Kingdom is not the solution. The problem is from the source, and the solution must come from the source. 
do you mean by the subs? Your import from Umwe Bede has not stayed for uh, stayed in Umwe for two months. In fact, she is right into the third month and nothing has happened. It simply goes to show that the problem is from the source. Huh? I, 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 I wouldn't want to fit the wrath of the gods. Ask your son to give me signal. I am my brother's keeper. Only one, one draw from my source will make a great difference. Come, Ezelam. Are you in any means? Suspecting that my son is important. Obana, the god of fertility, will bear me witness that I never use the word suspect. What will I suspect? Huh? His impotency is so open that you don't need it here to, to confirm it. Like I said already, I am my brother's keeper. I would not want to go to the women that read and uh, uh, be consumed by the, by, by the gods. No! Let your son invite me officially and I will go in with the gods and solve his problem. family way. That is the only way you shut people up. That is the only way people will know that you are a man. As long as you are hiding under law and you continue with this dead vessel, I will be forced to believe what people are alleging, that you are not a man, that you are impotent. Mother. Uh. Mother. You know what you're going to do for me now? Go back to your room and remain there forever. Don't come out again. You are poking into my life and I don't like it. Don't go along with you. insane. I you insane. You inherited this compound from your father and it remains the property of my husband. It's my father's compound. He and Abed Nagy. Tell him no, sir. My friend. You want to beat me? Do you want to beat me? Go back to your room. Tell him no, sir. Go back to your room. Yeah? This is my husband's we have, we have discussed extensively and have come to a conclusion that you actually assaulted your mother. No, 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 no. Is she a Juan Asanya? I did not assault her. She was the one who assaulted me. She looked me in the eyes and called me an important man. Is that the reason you had the guts to beat up your own mother? Huh? What she said is not known by all. 
Huh? I expected you to give signal. And men like me will invade into your privacy and wipe away your sorrows. Does it mean that you elders will not caution this idiot, this mag up, and one ever to stop insulting me? Who is an idiot? You are an idiot. 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 I am aware both of you have not been getting on well lately. And we are not here to discuss that. Obi Fabia. We are here for something very serious and we are going to allow you to go and solve your problems yourself. Let us face why we are here. Shinwa, before the end of tomorrow, you are required to present one goat <coughs> and one white hen as fine for assaulting your mother. My elders, I did not assault her or raise my hands on her. I did not assault her. I did not raise my hands against her. I was eating with my wife. She came from her room. Mm. Mm. She stood before me and ran all the insult on this act on me. She called me all sorts of names. She was the one who assaulted me. Well, I am not going to exchange words with you. We don't have that time. But we are telling you that we have listened to your mother and we have now listened to you and we have come to the conclusion that you indeed you assaulted your mother. That's what I called. You have until the end of tomorrow to present the fine. And let me say it again if you didn't get it before. One goat, one white hen. If by the end of tomorrow you fail to present this fine, you shall leave us with no other option than to see relationship with you as a man of this family. And your mother will be no more. Oh, there is the one who is Don't say one more word before the whole fight will follow. Say one more word and you will get the whole fight. I am sorry, I am sorry, Edas. I, I am not happy about this fight. Why are you not happy with the fight? We should be concerned on how to raise a family for our brother. Eh? What are we going to do with goat and chicken? Eh? I was expecting you, Edas, to talk him into calling others to help him. How many goats are we going to eat before we are tired of goat meat? Listen, Edas. I don't want to go to of course, that is what he is. Now, listen to me. Do not let your individual interest be cloud your sense of reasoning. We cannot tolerate any form of assault on our wives. Any of our wives. Women that are married into families can be assaulted in other lands, not here. Anyhow. Here in Umuahua Kingdom, married women, women that were married in families, particularly those women that have produced sons, sons that we have presented before our ancestors, must never be assaulted. Did you hear that? She is a wife to all in the family and must be protected by all. <coughs> His impotency is so open. I don't it is here to do what I want to do. It is not possible. My son cannot be important. But Ezelabo spoke like one who is sure. Why are you looking at me like that? What is the matter? I have been fined by the Council of Elders. I am here to tell you that I would not pay that fine. You are the one that assaulted me. So if there's anyone to pay that fine, it must be you. Chinua, come back. 
Forget about the fine. I will pay. I really want us to talk like mother and son. It is common these days for you to flare up whenever I ask a simple question. It's because you're beginning to be a problem to my life. You are poking into my life and that gives me reason to worry. You shouldn't be worried, son. I want to ask you a very simple question. And it will be appreciated if you answer me sincerely. I am listening. Since you started playing with girls as a young man, have you ever been accused of getting any of them pregnant? Hmm? What kind of nonsense question is that, Mother? It is a very important question, Chino. There is a rumor making the rounds, and I want to get to the root of it. What room? Answer my question first. Have you ever impregnated a woman? <laughs> Mother. I don't have time for a nonsense question like this. I cannot answer you such question. What I do room I mean I do my matwa Never! I called you back to let you know that what you imported from Umebe there, kingdom, is not the solution. The problem is from the source, and the solution must come from the source. My lord, from the look on your face, I can tell that you're not happy with my suggestions. Being happy or not being happy is not the issue. The issue is that I don't like drinking herbal medicine from strangers. Why must you ask me to take a strange formula before I can be with you? I'm sorry, my lord. But... I don't trust your new wife. I am not asking you to stop seeing her. No. You can go to her as many times as you want. She is your wife. All I'm saying is that you should drink the formula to cleanse your system. That way, I will be confident enough to open myself to you again. Please do this for me. Then, be cool. What are you thinking this for? Are you in any way suspecting that she's carrying all these too many incurable diseases? Not exactly, my love. But I was brought up to be cautious. Listen, she is not from this land. She's from Umwibide Kingdom. And we all know that women from Umwibide Kingdom are known to be very loose. Yes. I just don't want you to, to contact any deadly disease. Please, my love. Mm -hmm. Oh, just, just drink it so we can be on the safe side. Um, please, my husband. Can I have a word with you? you were discussing with that one. 
That man, who are you calling that man? I am talking about Adadima. Tell me the things that she tells you that have captured your interest completely. The slogan is, when they get a new wife, they drop the old one. Tell me why you are still anchored to that old wife when you have a new wife that is able and always available. Listen to me, Masnachi. That I'm your husband, I agree. My mother is the one who married you for me, not me. Adadima is my wife that I married with my own money. Don't force me to break your bones one of these days. I want one young one. Maybe look at her. Why are you always provoking me? Just to let you know that who married who is not the issue. The important thing is that you are married to two wives. One who is a man that has been confirmed to have no womb. And the other who is already pregnant. So tell me, would you still break my bones? Can you repeat what you just said? Are you pregnant? You put it in there. So you have the right to be the first to know. Chuma! Hey! I will there when they find him. You mean you cannot be serious for once in your life? I am not here to talk about the fine. My son has already told me, and I'm going to pay. How will you pay the fine? Eh? He was the one they fined for assaulting you. What will you say you want to pay? Like I said, I have not come to talk about the fine. Ah. I want you to tell me why you have concluded that my son is important. Ah. Why are you always using strange words? Yeah? I will not say that I, conclu I, I, I concluded. Yeah? Who am I to ever conclude? Listen, the conclusion of the high level impotency is written everywhere in your compound. Yes! Tell your son to give Sigma and a visitor will visit the two women and that visit we translate into pregnancy. Is that not what you need? Mm, that is what I need. Oh, I agree. That was why I had to go to Omuibide to marry that wife for my son. But I don't know why my son is not doing what is expected of him. Uh, okay, okay. Let me break it down for you. I am that visitor. And I am ready to visit. But if you don't want it, <laughs> you can go and wait for your son to do what you know that is impossible. Are you really serious about this rubbish? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. So you want to sleep with my daughter's in law? Mm -hmm. If you call it sleep, it will mean that I am planning to derive pleasure from the art. No! No, listen, Chiara, this is something I want to do to assist the brother. <laughs> you know, to assist the brother. Are you ready to talk some sense into your son? I don't exactly know what you are cooking, but I don't like the smell you are sending into the air. Why are you always looking for trouble? What is your business with what I am cooking? And does it look like I am concerned as a person? The smell of what you are cooking is disturbing the baby in my womb. And I have come to tell you 
to put out your fire and discontinue cooking. Don't you think that's a rude way of telling me that you're pregnant? Well, I am particularly delighted about your pregnancy. But if you don't mind, Riku, go back to your room and stay there. And what makes you think you are still relevant in this family to give orders? A blind man that managed to pick up a fruit blown down by benevolent wind as he walks across the road should not make mockery of those that see. You know why? Those that see can actually climb the tree anytime and pluck as much fruit as they want. The blind cannot do this. And, and, and what is the meaning of that proverb? Proverbs, who are you? Now listen, I am carrying an important pregnancy and the air I breathe must be clean. Why would this man invite me here? What have I committed? I was thinking that the uh, uh, Chinua has brought the fine, but I looked around and I did not see any good. You were looking around for good. What's your own with good? Can you look me straight into my face and deny you have not been the one at the forefront of accusing Chinua Lomog of being important? Ichi, were you not the one that gave me the explanation? Eh? He is living with two women as wives, and none of them is pregnant. Can you possibly confirm that the two women are barren at the same time? No, it is not possible. And in your stupidity, you now believe you are the person that will make the two women pregnant? Yes. Eh? Or are you positioning yourself to be the one? No. The women will not agree to an Stop uh, Listen to me, I don't want to so let me give you this advice. Because uh, your father is late. So those of us who are alive should assume the position of your father to advise you. So that you don't make a mistake in your life. Before you say anything with your mouth, first of all, reason that thing in your head and try to understand where what you are going to say will take you. You must analyze what you are going to say before you say it. Stop lusting after another man's wife. Because it is a taboo in this land. If you force Shinwalomogu to kill you, 
when you die, your spirit will disappear into thin air. Will not appear anywhere in any ministration. Why? 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 No, has it reached to that? Oh, is that what he told you? That he will kill me because I told him the truth? What nonsense truth? What useless truth? That you want Chinano Mogu to bring his two wives to you so that you can make both of them pregnant? What? Ezelabo. Is this what you have become? Uh, listen, your father is just to, to twisting the whole thing. And he's making, making it look as if it is a serious issue. It was never how I said it. That means you actually said something like that. Now I know what to tell them. What to tell who? Please warn your daughter. Want your daughter not to use my name as a topic with her friends in this land? I will not take it. Huh? Okay. She doesn't know what I said and she cannot twist anything. Uh, uh, let me try to understand what you said. Is it not that you want Shin Walomog to bring his two wives to you so that you can make them pregnant? Is that not what you said? Was it how I said it? Say it again. How did you say it? Because of an ordinary dream? What I had is not an ordinary dream. I saw a good looking woman, strangely having the head of a he goat, making jest of my daughter. I pulled my arrow to strike, but she transformed into a proper woman with long hair. She was laughing at my daughter as she's in pain. I am terribly worried. <sighs> if you ask me, I will tell you to forget about the dream because it has no relevance whatsoever. I disagree. It has serious relevance. I'm not going to sit here and assume that all is well. Take a message to my daughter. Tell her to see me as soon as possible. Descendants of warriors do not take anything for granted. <laughs> Mother, I am happy, I'm excited. Hey. Mm. It's already two months on. Eh? Have you told your first wife? Mm -mm. Why do you ask? Oh. I have this feeling that she might harm that child. Mm -mm. Mother, no. I disagree with you. My wife is a gracious woman. She cannot do anything that is not noble. You really think so? Mother, I don't just think so, I know so. Adadema is a decent woman. She cannot do anything to harm me or anybody in this family. Son, mm, there is this truth that has been around for so many years. I will teach you that truth. A woman that seeks conception and is unable to find it, is capable of doing anything. You cannot entrust that kind of a woman with a helpless child. She might kill that child. <clears throat> uh -uh, let me finish. A frustrated woman can do the unthinkable. So please, don't tell your so-called Adadema. She might hurt that baby. My uncle said you needed to see me urgently. So I had to leave everything I was doing to answer you. <sighs> Mother, what is the problem? I had a terrible dream. 
and I'm worried. What was your dream? I saw a good looking woman laughing at you. And I want to know why a woman with the head of a he goat would be laughing at my daughter. You threw away my pot of salt. And I was telling you that the poison you are cooking is choking the baby in my womb. And you had the effrontery to talk proverbs. Who are you? Now listen. I am carrying an important pregnancy. And the air I breathe must be clean. Your look betrays your mind. Tell me, who was that woman that was laughing at you? Nobody was laughing at me, mother. I am always looking up to Olisa, the all-knowing God that lives beyond the earth. Nobody can laugh at me. My father is one of the only few men in Omoa that killed lion with bare hands. This is a strong family. Tell me if you are in trouble and I shall step in as the daughter of a warrior. I am not in any kind of trouble. The only problem is my husband has been presented with a new wife. But there is no problem. This should not bother you. We are getting along well. Hmm. Open up to me. I'm your mother. Was she the one laughing at you? Please, don't do anything to her. She's pregnant. And the family needs that child. Fools are laughing at my daughter because Obana, the god of fertility, has refused to smile at her. We shall see. <laughs> It is good for a young pregnant woman. It will strengthen your nerves and keep your baby healthy till delivery. Drink. Drink. Husband is very excited about this pregnancy. And that remains my only source of strength. Masinachi, when you give a man what he wants and the way he wants it, he remains your slave forever. My son is not an exception. We are all excited that finally the cry of a child will be heard here. Mm. Let me massage your waist. Mama. <laughs> I am standing before you, the great Ubu of our land. I had always believed that Obana, the god of fertility, should be allowed to oversee everything concerning fertility. I still hold that belief. I am here to register my displeasure over the information I got from my daughter. The descendants of men that never killed any enemy animal are laughing at the descendants of men that killed dangerous animals with bare hands. This is unacceptable. They are laughing at my daughter because she has not been able to conceive in her husband's house. Great Ngu, move and undo what has been wrongly done. 
My daughter will conceive, and fools will not be able to laugh at her again. Yourself, as if the whole world is finally under your feet, and one will, one will still be excited over the level of men that have decided to hide their identities. Yeah? What do you mean by labor of men? As a lab, I am here to ask you to swallow your word. My wife is finally pregnant, she is due any moment. <laughs> you talk like a child, and I'm here. Open my eyes to what? Tell me. Open my eyes to what? Ezelab. My wife will soon deliver her child. And men like you that don't know how to mind their businesses should be made to get busy with their time. Now listen to me, Chino Alemogo. That the woman of the house is finally pregnant does not mean that automatically the man of the house is responsible. Yes! Pregnancy can come from other sources. Ezelab. Ezelab. That's my name. Are you in any way insinuating that my wife got pregnant from somewhere else? I never said that. But if I were you, I would do everything possible to make sure of the source. Listen to me, Ezelab. I want you to stay clear of my family. I will not warn you again. Stop talking trash about me. I can warn you again. And we now Tag, are you with You are excited over another man's level. Yes, tie with you. Hey, I'm a to Does it mean you are there for us? How many times have I told you to stop cooking the thing that always wants to make me throw up? Are you planning to make me lose my child? <laughs> I do not have time for your trouble. Hey! Not now. So I will advise you, go back to your room. Stay there and mind your business. Biko, Mua, Masinachi should go back to her room and mind her business. What other business do I have? When you have succeeded in saturating the air with the smell of death in an attempt to kill my child. Put off your fire and I will go back to my room. Yes. Mm. Mm. She's done again. 
For the second time, Masnachi is pouring out my pot of soup. Yes. What is a pot of soup compared with my grandchild? Let me tell you. If you ever touch her again, I will skin you alive. Which? to give birth to a king. That witch has found out. Now she's doing everything possible to induce a miscarriage. Ha. Mama, it will not work for her. Not possible. It will not work eh? for her. I, I don't know the kind of soup she cooks. Every, every time she starts cooking that soup, my, my tummy will start rumbling, I know making that me feeling. want to throw up. I know that feeling. Mama, do you know that sometimes even the baby in my womb will be kicking when, when she's cooking that soup. That's to show you that he, he doesn't even like the smell of the soup and the aroma of the soup. It's okay. Hi. Hmm? Don't worry. It will soon end. Hi. 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 I will massage your waist for you. Oh, yes, yes. Where? She kicked me here. here. Wicked girl. Don't make the baby has shifted. No, no, no. no. Hi. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Ndo. Ndo. Ma, hold me. Hold me. Your mother has refused to understand that I was pushed to the wall. I slapped a pregnant woman. I shouldn't have. I didn't intend to, but I was forced. She poured away the wonderful soup I labeled all evening to cook for you. You don't have to explain all this. I understand. Alright? All I want you to do for me is to comport yourself and allow me to do things my way. I will handle it. Okay? Come here. You don't have to continue crying. Are you sounding as if you're completely heartless? Do you know what it means for someone to slap a pregnant woman? A pregnant woman that does not know where to stop? Sincerely, Nkiruka, I give it to Adadema for tolerating that winch Ochora brought from Umuibide. <laughs> Honestly, if I were Adadema, I would have sorted that maiden out since. Hmm. There is nothing one we not see in this kingdom. Is this the same one, Neka, my friend, or another maiden entirely? Why are you supporting evil? Why are you calling another man's wife a witch? Nkiruka, hmm? if you believe that she's not a witch, then you must figure out another name for her. For crying out loud, what is her business with what another woman is cooking? Let's call a spade by its name, please. Let's assume that your sister is the one that was pregnant and was slapped that way what are you going to do eh? mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't need to ask that mm -hmm. because no sister of mine will be that stupid i only pity the poor chinua that is in the center of all see in kiruka that maiden is very lucky that i am not fully involved Elsa Kagoma please one 
Let's change this topic before it becomes something else. Please. End it where you want to end it. But always know that I do not support anyone. Let's forget the fact that Adadema is, is, is our sister from Uruwa Kingdom. I will do same for anyone, no matter where she's from. What right does that maiden have to throw away another woman's pot of soup? I don't understand what is going on. You called me here and you are pissing all around. What is the problem? Fools are daring me. And I'm going to descend on them with sledgehammer. What happened? And who are the fools? Do you know the first visitor I received this morning? No. Umon Nakwe, the son of Umon Nakwe, came this morning to inform me that Ochi Rambanugu, the mother of my daughter's husband, had joined hands with the woman they married from the Bush tribe, Umu Ibide to beat up my daughter. Jay! I called you here to confide in you as my brother. I'm going to destroy that woman. Are you sure what we're saying? I'm telling you what the son of Omo Nakwe said. Who are they to lay their coarse hands on my daughter? Who are they? They are nobody. There are two reasons I raise this case. You acknowledge the fact that this is a family of warriors and people must not take us for granted. Secondly, you came on your own to explain what happened without waiting for us to send for you. It shows you're sorry and I forgive you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your understanding. I love your daughter so much. I promise I will never let her down. I've prayed to Ungu concerning the problem my daughter is having with conception. And I know everything will be all right someday. You see? You see? Mm. I think that is fine. Allowed me touch it. Since you want to cook, collect a reasonable quantity and go and cook. 
I actually fetched this firewood because I have something I want to do with it. Please. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want your trouble. Oh, you don't want trouble. But you're always in a hurry to exhibit your, your, your lack of home training. Okay? Listen to me. Biko, collect what you need for the evening. I try to so. I know you're pregnant. I'm a need the image. I'm not asking you to go and look for firewood in the bush. Collect the one you need. Biko. Leave this thingy. Talking to you. Shimo. What is wrong with you? Ada. Collect the one you need. You're dragging firewood with me. Jibo! Ewa! Ewa! Jibo! Ewa! 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 Jibo! Mama! Ewa! Jibo! Ewa! 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 Jibo! Ewa! Ewa! Jibo! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! She wants to kill me! She wants to remove my baby! She wants to kill my baby! Mama! 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 Are you telling me that you still find it difficult to believe that your first wife is an evil woman? Why would she tell the woman that is carrying my grandchild to go into the bush and fetch firewood? Mother, you are judging her wrongly. And that is not fair. She only asked her to, to take the quantity she might need. She refused. Why would she want to live with the whole of the firewood? Why the owner already told her that she needed it for something very important? Do you know what? The only problem I have with you is that you will never see anything wrong in whatever that woman does. Okay, why would she slap a pregnant woman in the first place? Mother, you're complicating issues. You are complicating issues and I don't like it. Master, that she was the one who hit her first with the wood. The mark is still on her hand. Tell Machinati to stay away from trouble. If she needed firewood, that, that, that's serious. She should go inside the bush and fetch firewood. But she cannot. She can employ people to do that for her. Please. I don't want any further trouble in my house. Yeah, Chino. Chino, I come back here. What do you know about this family? Uh, I don't know why you will ask me that. Yeah? I have not come to discuss your family. Rather, I have come to advise that your daughter remain here for her own good. My said daughter is married to a man in this kingdom. I know. Who is still behaving like one that suckled his mother's breast. So, why would my daughter leave him? Uh, my friend, your son-in-law may not be the problem. The problem is the woman that Ochoa married from whom we be there. She will poison your daughter one of these days. Yeah? I have come because I, I am concerned as a true friend of the family. As a labor. I appreciate your concern. Thank you very much. Do not bother about her, Daddy Ma. She's fine. She's fine? She's fine. That she's fine? How can you say that? Eh? Oh, oh, okay. When was the last time you went to Gina's house? You see? I am the one that goes there always and I am telling you that the woman from whom we've been there is planning to kill your daughter and you're here telling me that she's fine. Yeah? She's better been here, in fact. She is safer here. <laughs> when I asked you what you knew about this family, I intended to remind you that we are descendants of warriors and we are still warriors even until death. If someone will finally run from that compound, it must be the woman from whom we be there, not my daughter. 
never my daughter. And the said woman of whom we be there is pregnant as we speak. In fact, they have been pampering her as if she's going to give birth to a king. Yeah, I hear you here telling me that she's going to run. Yeah? If you are sure she's planning evil against my daughter, then she must run from the same evil that shall rise. It will happen before all of you in your Abata village. You will surely remember this day. I... I decided to tell you the truth. There was no maiden of uh, Kama who wanted to learn uh, Okuma Bo. I only called her just to get away of to talk with you. Should I tell you the truth? I knew you were lying from the one. I am certain you noticed. So your final apology has not changed anything. It only confirmed what I knew already. And sincerely, I forgive you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So tell me, what are you saying about what I told you? What did you tell me? That you want to make me your wife? Look, and I mean every word of it. I am prepared for this now. Okay? Look, if you agree to marry me today, I will come and see your people before the next market day. Echidimi. <laughs> so if I agree to marry you now, and you are required to pay my bride price, with which money would you pay the bride price? Well, I, I don't understand your question. Look, I am Echidimi, an excellent shooter of the gun. I am the best hunter in my age grade. And that is exactly the reason I will never be your wife. <laughs> if you have saved enough money and now needs a wife, look for others. I know it's possible you're thinking I'm still angry with you. The truth is that I am not. I know she provoked you first. I'm forgetting about the incident. I have forgotten about it as well. Actually, there is something more important I want to talk to you about. What is it? One who is surrounded by enemies should learn to stay at red alert. Are you by any chance suspecting attack from the other quarters? My husband, I know it is only natural for you to shout, but please, I beg you, control it. I am pregnant. What? Yes. Are you kidding me? I am telling you what is happening. You're pregnant? <laughs> you see, I am already two months gone. <laughs> Gods of my ancestors. <laughs> I told you that true Kholisa will come to our aid. Yes. I told you he'll smile on us. <laughs> <laughs> When the Lord I'm a man. I'm a man.